God bless you. I'm Elect Lady Prophetess Owens, and I'd like to talk to you today about shame. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Most of us, at one time or another in our lives, have experienced shame or call shame. Shame is hard as felt when we did something wrong that we could have avoided or something that caused damage to others because of our deeds or our misgivings. Shame is defined as a painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior, a loss of respect or esteem. It's dishonor. One of the most tragic stories in the Bible concerning shame is the story of Amnon and Tamar in 2 Samuel chapter 13. Amnon, King David's son, was so obsessed with lust for his half-sister Tamar, a virgin who was also the king's daughter, that he eventually raped her. I use the word lust because love does not behave itself unseemly and seeketh not her own, according to 1 Corinthians 13 and 5. Amnon deceitfully asked the king to send Tamar to fix him something to eat because he was ill. After Tamar arrives, she realizes Amnon's evil intentions, and she pleads with him not to shame her. Verse 13, she says, If you rape me, you get what you want, but what about me? Where can I hide the shame that will follow me? And you will become as a wicked fool in Israel. Tamar pleads with him to go to the king and do what's right. By asking permission to marry her, she reiterates, the king will not deny you. But Amnon refuses to listen to truth. And being stronger than her, he forces her and then rapes her. Afterwards, He demands that his servants throw her out of his house. Tamar leaves with bitter tears and shame, and she is comforted by her full brother Absalom, where she lived in his house with solitude and sorrow as a desolate woman. Absalom later murders his half-brother, Amnon, for what he did to his sister Tamar. Shame has no winners. Of course, If you go to God and sincerely repent, He will forgive you and heal you of your shame. But the most effective way to deal with shame that involves self-gratification is to think before you act. If it only benefits you and the end result destroys more than blesses, my instruction to you is this. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Get calm. God is taking care of me.